first thing that we were going to look at then was how you hold the club and you because you was mentioning that as you hit the shots the club face must be pointing to the right because the shots were turning off to the right hand side so obviously without seeing that actual video face on like so it's hard to see whether or not your grip is correct but grip has a massive influence on how the club head works and how the face works um, years ago when I was doing this it was always about keeping everything sort of posing making sure the left hand matches the right hand and that you could only see two knuckles and so on and so forth but what I've learned over with the um, uh, with regards to joint alignments and so on that's not always necessarily the case and we need to find the one that suits you right and the easiest way to find that is when you stand and you just bend forward from the hips as if you was in your posture position you just let your arms just hang nice and relaxed from the shoulders what you will notice is that my left hand is actually turned inwards as is my right hand as well and this is actually what we call your natural joint alignment and this is how your arms will want to swing to um, if i was to come into my impact position here my hand will always naturally return to this straight uh, joint alignment it's very important and if I don't have my hands on in the correct position, now for me, I always put it in the fingers, but I always make sure that I can actually see up to maybe even four knuckles nowadays when I actually hit a shot. Because when I actually bring the club head in and I get into my impact position, my arm will straighten out because of the force of the club. And actually this will now put the club head square and this is a natural joint alignment for me. Ironically, when I used to have my old grip where I could only see say two knuckles on the back of my left hand, whenever I used to, put myself into my, my alignment, my joint alignment, would actually square up like so. My club face, as you notice, can actually turn and point to the right hand side. This would have to then encourage me on the golf swing to try and roll the hands over to try and square the face. And if I didn't do it, I'd hit a push out to the right or I'd overhook it to the left. Get my hands into the correct position where I bring my hand in, it goes into the fingers and I can actually See, one, two, three, four knuckles for me, because that's how my hand would naturally hand. It can vary for different people, depend on their joint alignment. But that's how I actually hold the golf club now. My right hand, you see, is more of a, <coughs> a pressure provider. It, that actually goes in slightly different, because that needs to match the club face. And I actually will try and position that on the club, so that's in a position, because that's what's going to put the pressure on the back of the ball when I hit it. So when I strike it, my hand is putting pressure on the back because if I was to fall over, for example, I would use that. I'm trying to, the force that's coming back in from the ball, I'm trying to counteract that with the pressure with my right hand, okay? So just to recap, let your arm hang down naturally, bring it across to the side of the club and I can see one, two, three, maybe possibly four knuckles for some people. And that is actually a neutral grip for you because as you come into impact, the, hips, the left hip's pushing backwards and my shoulders working around, that is actually a neutral grip. It will feel strong, and you'll think you're gonna hook it left, but you won't do. And actually what this will actually encourage is a much better hitting action, which I'll do videos on at some point on my channel, but you'll see I get a much better hitting action. I can actually hit into the back of the ball, and my hands won't work over at all. All right, tried it, see how it gets on. You'll probably hit some shaky shots to start with, but, Keep plugging away at it. Don't just give up on it on the first three or four hits. You've got to have to make sure it works. You might start hitting some shots left. That's the overall goal because that's the third part of what we're going to show you on these videos.